Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Dryman. Dryman, or the out well, outskirts of Dryman campsite. We just had a nice evening at Dryman campsite, and we walked into Dryman itself and into Clacken Inn, and we had absolutely amazing meal there. And I had a glass of whiskey. For the life of me, I can't remember what it's called. Something it fifteen. Something fifteen. Fifteen years. So, uh, but it was uh, well, about ten quid a, a shot. So, uh, not bad He's quality. He's his birthday week. And uh, although the coke that went with it wasn't so good, no, I'm joking. No, it was very nice whiskey. And, um, it was a fantastic meal. And what was your impressions of the gluten-free options and flour? Excellent. Customer service was very good. Yeah. Customer service excellent. Very knowledgeable of their gluten-free. Yeah, very good. Gluten-free and the quality of the food was brilliant and they were absolutely packed out. So uh, yeah. if you come to Dryman or camping out here and you want to eat out that night then it's advisable to book because we saw lots of people being kind of turned away or having to wait until the chairs come available but it's all very well run and all very well prepared. And then the campsite Dryman itself yeah, very basic, but uh, everything you it got. Was clean, wasn't it was it? clean, yeah, it was clean. clean. It was old but clean, and um, yeah, a bit of character to it. Yeah, the people oh. were lovely. Yeah, yeah. Full of uh, backpackers, as you'd expect. Uh, solo travellers as well. Uh, yeah, it was it was good, and the pods there, they're ideal, but they are a bit cramped if you've got a couple of suitcases. And if you're a bit like us and keep putting things down and forgetting where you put them and then faffing and unpacking and repacking. We're very inexperienced at this sort of thing as you can tell. <laughs> yeah. Can get a little bit tense. <laughs> but uh... I have to say I'm impressed about the number of female lone travellers we've seen. They're very brave. I'd love to be able to do that. Yeah. But I don't think I've never been brave enough to do yeah. it on my own. No. Well you've got me at the fair, haven't you? To carry all your baggage <laughs> for you, haven't you? Yeah, so, exactly. um... That's what it is. <laughs> Anyway, today, if you'd like to pan round, see where we're going. Well, today we are going to be heading to Roa Denham, the youth hostel there. Uh, before we get there, we're going to stop off at the Roa Denham Hotel for a meal. We've got booked a table there for six o'clock, but we will be going up. I was trying to show the view before you went out of sight, is it? <laughs> over there. <laughs> Where, and today we'll be going through, or over, Conic Hill which is over there we think that's Conic Hill and then uh, all the way down the other side to Bala Bala Hala I don't know Bala Kala and <laughs> however you pronounce it and then on to Roa Denham and along the shores of Loch Lomond just about to see over there. which we can just see over there the little islands there in the middle there which I think is part of the fault line that s s differentiates between the lowlands and the highlands. So, yeah, we've got to get cracking now. Yep. After our uh, start here, so yeah, that's a campsite at half past eight. And, it's good uh, for us. So it's good for us. And then we had a bowl of beans this morning. That should help uh, push us on our way. <laughs> and, um, Oh dear me, it was like a bit of childhood humour. No words. And, uh, oh, see you later. Bye. Kind of a 10 o'clock, we're just banging out the first three miles, which is rather good. Heading through this forest on our way up to Conic Hill. So, uh, yeah, so far, so good. Still amazing weather we're having. Very lucky. But, uh, very lucky. Just helped out a nice couple there. I took a photo of them. Well, I'm not on my camera because that would just be wrong. But, uh, <laughs> so there's a uh, picture quite Loch Lomond in the distance there. Which uh, 
we'll be walking along most of that, well quite a bit of that today, on the way up to the youth hostel. The uh, scenery is getting very uh, changeable now, sort of coming out of this forest. Well there we have it everyone, Iconic Hill in the distance, oh, Iconic Hill, I don't know, what's that? Iconic Hill? Yeah, take your pick. Take your pick, Iconic Hill, Iconic Hill, anyway, so looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> that there everyone is uh, Loch Lomond, and uh, the sort of little island you see going across is uh, part of the fault line which we're now going to be entering into the highlands of Scotland now in the lowlands and then we're going to be heading into the highlands Well, finally, starting the ascent of Conic Hill. It's uh, hard to get your pace because on the way to it, it's you're going up and down all the time. But now we're finally going up there. I bet you're all sat at home watching this, thinking, I'll give that a go. <laughs> but the thing with this one is you have to walk quite a few miles to get to it before you can start climbing it. But we are getting the views and the scene, scenery, which is uh, really good. Stunning views up here, isn't it? It is, yeah. Uh, yeah, a bit of a scramble at the end, but uh, well worth it. The views are uh, phenomenal. absolutely phenomenal. I 
really are good. We're seven miles into our day. Yep, seven miles into our day. We're going to head down to Bahama. Of as of any ascent, okay. there's always a descent, isn't there? He's underestimating these things are going downhill because it's not always. It's not always, no. It's a bit slippery going down here as well. It's very slippery. And it's Challenging this bit, wasn't it? It is, yeah. I didn't say this on the guide map, did I? <laughs> you don't get to see this on the YouTube videos, do you? Eh? Oh, steps over there. Nice right, yeah. steps over there. Really uh, expect this today on the <laughs> Conic Hill. Oh, shit. My legs aren't long enough, right? <laughs> Might be easier to go down the slope on that bit. Yeah, I cut this when they go to the steps. Yeah. Oh, that's really slippery though, isn't it? So that was Conic Hill, kind of dusted, although <laughs> to me it's more like a mountain. <laughs> that's, uh, I think coming down is actually harder than going up. Yes, it was so steep and slippery. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was, was um, hard going. Lots of steps on the way down as well. I don't think we're actually fully down just yet anyway. We will go through this forest, but... Uh, Definitely broken the back of it, but um, and a nice level bit at the moment. The views you get from the top are incredible, so uh, you'd be mad not to miss it. And you'd be mad to miss it, mad not to miss it, or you're mad to miss it. <laughs> Just get up to the top of Conic Hill, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, um, all right, the sun's getting quite warm as well now, which is uh nice but it makes her life a little bit harder on the trail and uh, oh, more steps. we're just about to go in this woods Today. We're going to look up on YouTube when we get that. Yeah, we will. And because uh, we've got to get cracking because we're running way behind schedule. Yes. So, uh, Mrs. Cousin's going to take a cheeky little photo of this bloke called Tom Weir. But we've seen on lots of videos. Well, another hill without a Bahama. Bahala. Bahalama. Or however you pronounce it. That's what we wanted. Beach. This is what we've been looking at all the time on YouTube. Yeah. We're here. I'm just thinking, this weather, you think you've been somewhere exotic. I know, it's even almost white sand, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, pity we've got quite a way to go and we've got to walk all the way along there so we can get something to eat tonight. But uh, yeah, the trouble is, you can't have it all, can you? You spent quite a bit on the hill. Mm. Oh, there's just so much to see here, it's yeah. just you can't, you just can't it's take it away. It's amazing, isn't it? It absolutely is stunning, isn't it? It really is. Right then, onwards and upwards then. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do this.
Oh, I what happened. <laughs> hey? What happened? I said it went in my ear and it sounded really like something going down the window. <laughs> it made me jump. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. So we just found a car park, popped in there, we called the nature and that. And then uh, after then, uh, West Island Way is not a well signposted. So we found a family who've done it before and they said you can walk along the beach and you'll pick it up. So there it is. that's what we're doing. It could be like, to our right left. But, uh, it's given us absolutely stunning views. It's like being in another country, really, today. Well, we are in another country, aren't we? More hills. Oh, we've only done 11 miles today. Surely there's a hill up there. Oh, there's a lot of hills today. And it's a lot hillier than I'd anticipated. I suppose with the hills you get the views. Looking forward to a pint tonight. What's that love? I'm done with the hills today. <laughs> Well, we're heading in the right direction because this is Rower Denham Forest. So, uh, at some stage, we'll be hitting the uh, Rower Denham Hotel. So hopefully, we can get a bite to eat if we get there in time. So, um, we'll keep you posted. Uh, sometimes in life, when it gets a little bit painful, you have to go in and bear it. But then when you uh, get views like this, it just makes everything seem so uh, much worth it. It's awesome. It's awesome, isn't it? Eh? It really is. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're certainly chomping off the miles at the moment. Don't make no. Hopefully, Sorry? hopefully not too far now to the hotel. I think it's about a mile and a half to be. Right, so. Uh, be hard yeah, we've got another hill. I think if I had my time again, I would do this over two days. That's because uh, around Baha, Balahama, Balama, whatever you call it, banana, they're absolutely stunning. We haven't really had much time to see it all. Never thought we'd have so many hills today. It just keeps on slowing you up. I told you it's the hill that keeps on giving. Yes, we're getting our value for money out the hills today. Oh my god, good job! And uh, more steps as well. Jesus. <laughs> and there's more. Saving grace is it's under the trees in the core, which is something, but uh, all right, flower. We ain't got long to go now. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
Uh, yep, more hills, more stairs. I'm absolutely knackered. Well, both are. They're both struggling now, to be honest with you. It has been a really long day. And uh, we're really up against the clock now to get to our table in time. Oh well. Let's see what we can do. Well, we're still going through Rower Denham Forest now. <laughs> still, still waiting for the hotel to turn up. It's been a long, bloody day today. And uh, yeah, it looks like we missed our six o'clock slot. So whether they're going to keep our table available for us, who knows? But. Uh, Let's wait and see, shall we? Still going. <laughs> Trouble is, you just can't see where you're going. Because it's just all trees everywhere you look. So you're just assuming you're going in the right direction. Definitely a lot harder than uh, what we thought it would be. We arrived at Rowden and Hotel near enough two hours late. Fortunately, they managed to let us in and fed us. However, they didn't do much recording as I was absolutely th That's a sight for sore eyes. Sign for a youth hostel. Hope it's ours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says youth hostel. It could be any. It might, could be another youth hostel, could not it? So that is absolutely. Ma oh Jesus Christ! The bird nearly just shit on us. <laughs> just uh... <laughs> so, so we just stopped at the Rodden <laughs> Hotel. We had a lovely bite to eat. Uh, but uh, we'll catch up tomorrow and uh, let you know how that went. Because uh, to be honest with you. We're a bit knackered There's at the moment. There's a water thing there. There's a water thing over there. Um, so we're now making yeah, we our wage. So 17.45 miles today so far. 17.45 miles, Jesus Christ, that's and quite it's something in it really. Uh, it has been very heady, yeah. Seriously, it's really heady. I'd be to say that. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I was. Uh, I think uh, divorce was on the cards the last couple of hours of our walk today, but we're okay now. We've reconciled. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, ah, dear, it's amazing what a bite to eat and uh, well, I had two pints of cider. Mrs. Cousin was very good here. Yeah, just had a was it soda water on it? Soda water. Yes, yeah. a soda water. Um, but yeah, let's just see what the. Uh, you Foster has got to uh, offer us us, offer us, Hopefully offer the view us. is the same as a brochure, Yes. so we shall show you that as well. And, uh, Take you on the journey with us. Well, we've just been actually at the pub and there was someone coming from the Youth Hostel saying they couldn't get anything to eat here, so uh, might, might have burned down, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, see how we let's get on there. Let's our luggage is there waiting for us. Yes, our overweight luggage as well, but there we are. Well, there we are, what was it, 18 miles from half past eight this morning? Yeah, we left half eight this morning, it's To uh, half past eight. Oh, it's half eight, literally. We so, just 12 miles, so uh, I don't 12 think... 12 miles? 12, 12 hours. 12 hours in 18, 18 miles. 18 miles in 12 hours. So I don't think we'll be doing the uh, London Marathon this year, unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> because of that, but uh, what a day. 
It's been yeah, amazing. Absolutely knackered. Absolutely shattered, really am. It just went on and on. And the hills, like, even just like it little kept hills. On giving. Just up, down, up, down. And, uh, yeah, I think Conic Hill as well is like a day trip in itself, don't you? Yeah, yeah. and then when we saw the lot laying the, like the beach areas, we could have easily spent a few hours there, but we just didn't get few, time. Didn't get a few, it was so pretty. Yeah, it was so pretty there, but we just had to sort of bob it through, unfortunately. So we missed a lot to see, really. So give them a chance to do it again. I'll do it over two days, really. Do Conic Hill and then stop off at Balahalalalam, or however you pronounce it. <laughs> and uh, then do a sort of second out to here, because, um, yeah, missed out loads of scenery. But... Uh, yeah, we're now at the road down at the hotel, so it all seems very friendly. Yeah. Uh, just going to sort our stuff out now, put stuff on charge, and uh, we'll catch you in the morning. Yes. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>